The grand prize winner of the 30th annual National Gingerbread House Competition is entry A149, <laughs> Ann Bailey, Cary, North Carolina, when dreams have wings. Yes, the Peter Pan Gingerbread House was a winner and you can see why. And to think the grand prize winner of the national competition was from right down the road in Cary. Every single day, people and kids from the age of five enter into the competition each year. And registration for this year's competition is now open. There's $40,000 in prize money to be had for all the different divisions. I got to talk to the lead judge about what they look for in a winning house. Across the board, regardless of the age division, all of them are come down to detail for me. Oh, even in little kids, let's say that, hey, Mark, I made a shrub out of this green gumdrop, so I thought it was so cool. I wanted to use more green, so I did a green candy cane and used it for a fence post. Well, that's pretty cool. They're paying attention to the detail of the color and carrying it through their piece. Well, it is amazing to see the houses in person. It's free to roam around the Grove Park and look at them. In fact, this is video that I took from last year. I'm always interested in finding the ones made by folks in and around our area. I saw houses from a teen in Reedsville, another one from Concord, and one from Winston-Salem. It's always fun for anybody to see, oh, I recognize that. I lived there, or I grew up there, I went to school there. You can register for this year's competition. The houses aren't due on site until mid-November, and I've got all the details for you in the two wants to know section. And did I mention winners get prize money and free stays at the Grove Park?